In a world driven by data and automation, there's a solution that empowers you to create, innovate and streamline without high technical skills. Introducing Orange Node Read Service, a useful tool for quick and easy backend development and dashboards. We'll be covering three main topics that will give you a comprehensive understanding of Orange Node Red. First up, we'll provide you with a global overview of Orange Node Red. Get ready to explore the key features and benefits that make it a game changer in simplifying complex processes. Following that, we'll walk you through a live demo use case. Witness Orange Node Red in action as we tackle a real-world scenario showcasing its practicality and effectiveness. Lastly, we'll delve into a powerful Node-RED module designed for advanced web applications. Node-RED is an open source package supported by a large community of developers. It is a flow-based and low-code programming tool where you connect different nodes to create flows that model your use case. Node-RED is where complexity meets simplicity. You can quickly deliver advanced services without having high development skills. It's easy to build backends to enrich your business data and to create interactive dashboards that visualize your data and work together with the flows. Also, you can extend the capabilities of Node-RED by installing more nodes to fit your needs. Orange has integrated Node-RED into a fully monitored software as a service that you can activate without caring about installation, hosting and operations. We handle everything and offer additional features so you can focus solely on designing your flows. As the Orange Node-RED is a fully monitored service with an SLA availability of 99.5%, you can use it for proof-of-concepts but also for commercial applications. How to sign up? If you have a LifeObjects account, go to Data tab and then to Node-RED tab. Press the Sign up button and submit the form. If you are not a LifeObjects subscriber, go to eventdriven.orange.com, click the Sign up button and fill in the form. Either way, we will get back to you within 48 hours. What you can see here is the Node-RED editor. It consists of three main sections. The Node palette on the left, the main workspace in the middle and the output pane on the right. To build a flow, simply drag and drop a few nodes from the palette to the workspace, connect them and save. You can observe the outcome of your flow in the output section. On top of the standard open source Node-RED, Orange has implemented several user interface and security improvements and new features. Let's take a look at some of them. To the left of the editor, you will find a sidebar that lets you explore the features. Node-RED lets you create interactive UI dashboards that work together with your flows. Use our shortcut button to navigate to your dashboards. If you want to feed Node-RED with data from the outside, for instance from live objects or a cloud provider, you will need to use an API key. To get it, just click the API key button and copy your private key. In the User Management tab, you can add more user accounts to your Node-RED instance. There are three user types with different permissions. Let's click the Palette button. We can add extra modules to extend our palette with other nodes. For example, we can install the UI Builder module. We're gonna use it later. To simplify the Node-RED and LiveObjects integration, we developed a set of LiveObjects nodes. Using these, you can send, enrich or receive data from LiveObjects. 
use the external connector node to send new data from Node-RED to live objects. In order to enrich data coming from live objects, utilize the custom pipeline nodes. There are in and out nodes for starting and closing pipelines, respectively. If you want to receive data from live objects as they arrive, make use of the FIFO node or HTTP push nodes. The FIFO queue releases messages only when your flow is up and running, so you won't miss any data when using it. We prepared a few example flows to show you exactly how to use live objects nodes in Node-RED. Let's import one of the example flows. This flow summarizes all of the nodes we talked about a minute ago. Try it yourself. To recap, Orange Node-RED Software as a Service, closely monitored by Orange, offers a powerful solution designed to simplify your business operations. This user-friendly, low-code tool is tailor-made for efficient backend data processing and dynamic dashboard creation. And when it comes to performance, you can rely on its fast and cost-effective delivery backed up by a 99.5% service level agreement. Whether you're testing proof-of-concepts or deploying full-fledged commercial applications, Orange Node-RED SaaS is the adaptable solution for your needs. Get ready to experience streamlined data management and dynamic visualization with Orange Node-RED SaaS. Its simplicity, efficiency and impact rolled into one. Sign up for Orange Node-RED using the QR code your Live Objects account or the link in the description. Now I want to explore an interesting use case for which Node-RED might come in handy. Let's say my pressurized chemical containers travel from Paris to Lille. I want to know their GPS coordinates and functioning telemetry. These data come from a set of sensors placed on the container. But in addition to that, I want to know the average of last five internal temperatures, weather conditions and the city name for the container location, and pressure difference between inside and outside the container. Let's see how we can do it. First, Live Objects receives telemetry and location data about the container. We're gonna route that data to Node-RED using the Live Objects custom pipelines. After Node-RED receives data, it will request four previous data messages using Live Objects REST API as well as weather information from Open Weather API. Node-RED will then build the enriched data message combining the original data and the request responses. The enriched data message will go to live objects, where we can plot the values or add alarms. Let's see the original messages coming from the container. We can find the telemetry and location data. I'm gonna go to the Node-RED editor to show you the enrichment process. First of all, we need to set the live objects API key and the open weather API key in the flows context memory. We will use them for authentication in the main flow. This is the entry point of our main flow. Assuming we have configured the custom pipeline properly, every time our container sends data, it will immediately be handled by Node-RED. First thing after a message comes, we build a request to live objects to find the last four messages of the same stream ID. Then, using the HTTP out node, we send the URL and required headers, including our API key. Next, when the request resolves, we calculate the average of the last five temperature values, including the current and previous ones. Then, it's time to request weather data from OpenWeather API. First, we build the request URL. It should contain latitude, longitude and the open weather API key. 
Then we send the POST request to receive the weather data. After that, we get back to the original message and add new properties that came from the recent API call. These are external temperature, humidity, pressure and their nearest city name. We also calculate the pressure difference between inside and outside of the container. We add a tag to the message, so it will indicate that we have actually enriched the data message. And last but not least, we close the flow with the pipeline out node, which sends the enriched payload to live objects. As you can see, from now on, the data stored in live objects contain more information than originally. Now I also added a few nodes to visualize the telemetry and location. These nodes take effect when we enter the dashboards. As you can see, I placed a world map to see a route of our truck carrying the container. I also added some charts to see values in real time. The dashboards can be interactive. For instance here I added a switch that would turn on the fan in the container to cool it down. You can attach buttons, drop downs, sliders and other inputs to trigger a custom business logic. There is more. Actually all the data about the container was simulated by Node-RED in another flow. Every 5 seconds I generated random values for telemetry and iterated over coordinates on the route to fake the GPS. This data go to live objects as it was transmitted by a physical device. For that I used the external connector node. Now we're gonna take a quick look at one of very powerful Node-RED modules, the UI Builder. With UI Builder, you can create fully customized data-driven front-end applications and host them on Node-RED. You can use built-in framework templates such as Vue.js or transpile and paste the code from virtually any front-end framework. UI Builder handles HTML, CSS and JavaScript files which are stored in the Node-RED persistent file storage. Just as in case of standard dashboards, you can exchange data and interact with your flows. Let's explore an example from our example flows library. From the Node-RED editor, I go to example flows. Under front-end application with UI Builder, you will find a description of the flow that deploys a simple application which displays a quote of the day. Let's copy the flow into the editor. Now we will specify the endpoint for our front-end application and save. Let's copy the pre-made HTML, CSS and JS file content into the Nodes file tab. If we open the specified endpoint, we will see our front-end app. To check out the interaction between the editor and the app, just click on the Inject node. Using UI Builder, you have pretty much unlimited options for hosting an advanced web application on Node-RED. For more details about the UI Builder node, check out the documentation link down below.